Hi guys. On this video, I'm gonna um, customize my crab um, boot loader, and I'm thinking to just show it to you how I do it the manual way, because most of the how to in there they are always showing the crab customizers. Now. Grab customizer is actually okay however I have a really bad experience with it before I was using it on my first uh, few months with Arch I customized the grab and then I believe if I remember it correctly um, there was an update on the grab or there was an update on the grab customizers anyway there was just an update regarding the bootloader and I spent hours and days trying to figure out just to boot into the system and it really messed up so I cursed this uh, package I'm sure there's a lot of you or there's a lot of guys out there who are using this grab customizer I mean you can use it however I highly suggest not to use it it's better to just do it the manual way which I'm gonna do it now now you will tell me if let's say you are in a in a um, because this is a PPA a launchpad or this is a launchpad which is mostly connected to the Ubuntu you will tell me that you installed it on Arch on the repo now if you go to the Arch repository and search for the grab customizer you will see in here and the let me just zoom in you will see that on the grab customizer the upstream is in the grabs customizer this this one launchpads.net so it goes to the same thing it's using same package now if you also on gentle for example on the overlay because if you if there is no grab customizer in the official repo and on the overlay there is the guru and the src is going to the same package grab customizer so it's all just the same package everything in here so that's just about it just be mindful if you use this may break your system now for customizing the grab theme uh, if you just search on your Google uh, grab team there's a lot on there's a lot of good grab teams GRUV teams on GitLab or GitHub one thing that caught my attention or I've been using before is this um, grab teams by Addison Cabani. I believe it's it's a good one. Let's just make a preview. For example, on Gen 2, it's like minimal, but it also looks good, better than the um, better than the grab, which is of course. I mean, you can always say that. You can always argue that. You know, you you don't really look it you don't really have a time to look it but then it's here so you can just use it so I've been using it and earlier when I was searching for another theme I found this actually on the github or gitlab uh, this dark matter GRUV theme and for the download it's it's uh, going to this page and I think I think it looks great. For example, there's a lot of the there's a lot of a uh, themes in here, different distros. If you go into the file, see it's all listed. I hope we can just change the alphabetically here. But there's a lot of GRUV theme here, and I already have downloaded this earlier. I downloaded that. 1080p and 2k I have a 2k monitor 
so I download this anyway I download both and the installation of it manual installation is actually on their page uh, manual installation here there is also an automatic installation it's a Python uh, file but there's also a manual installation now this manual installation is really good if you are using let's say where is that now Fedora for example there yeah there mm, grab directory is different and it's also this different on the grab main mk config but since arch and ubuntu or arch and gen2 is almost the same it's actually actually exactly same so this is just a guide and i'm just gonna do it now as i said earlier i have downloaded the um i have downloaded the theme this is the one that was earlier the simple one that like, looks great i've been using it for already like um, all, all more than one year or one year but not with gen 2 but with arts more than one year in gen 2 i use same and today i'm gonna put this dark matter now this is the python file which gonna install it for you automatically and after you uh, after you unzip it the folder name is gonna be dark matter i just rename it dark uh, gen to dark just for me to remember easily remember and here's the preview which i'm gonna try it now and i hope my obs will pick it up okay so first thing is to copy this into your grub mm directory a uh, grab team directory which in here by default if you install the grab you have this already star field so you need to copy the gen to dark uh, sudo cp you need to change uh, to uh, elevated user or elevated cpr and then control shift v and we need to move this to you can just copy this for easy then of course enter your password then it's already here on the gen 2 dark now i cannot open it because oh why well, cannot open it that's weird <laughs> But anyway, I think it's already in here. Let me just gen to gen to dark uh, sudo cp gen to dark uh, destination a cd change directory cannot be run directly okay change us to cd gen2 dark okay now it's in here it's already on this file so after that you can go into Now you might not experience this for some reason I cannot access now. Don't know why. Then we need to change the let me just cap clear first. Clear. So we need to uh, edit the default grab. So sudo vim etc default grab. So on the down here there is already like a um, place here where, where you can just uncomment it, delete the hashtag and then since it's already here 
all you need to do is just replace this with a folder name which is oh, I gen to dark there you go very simple while you're here you can also always also change the timeout you can increase the timeout if you wanted to see the if you wanted to see the um, grab team but you can always just you know click the arrow down up and down when it's booting so then you can always just verify if it's working fine so after that need to upgrade your grab so it is sudo grab mk config o grab 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 that cfg now earlier when i said about like fedora or red hat they have a different um different updating of the grub and i believe debian and ubuntu no, i believe let's just go here with the uh, because it's going it's Mm, here the documentation is here which is this page in the installation for Ubuntu and Debian base I believe you can just yeah you can just do a sudo upgrade update grab but for Fedora and Arch this is not really right see there's also for Fedora be not this not this though anyway so this is for Fedora also that's one thing the things that I don't like about Fedora is you cannot really customize the grub I don't know I cannot reinstall it and put it as a removable anyway that's just about it so when you update your grub you see here it found it found a team which is good now you might be asking why I have a lot of this. This is for the snapper and this is a grab BTRFS so I can just boot it in there. So after that, let's just reboot. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pressing the button just to just post so OBS on my laptop can pick up the um, bootloader or the team okay uh, it picks up apparently which is good now this is the how it looks with the gen 2 dark I think the design is okay but the font is kind of like through to retro I believe <laughs> and then have the a lot of the, I mean have two kernels here and this is where the uh, snapshots are which is I mentioned earlier mm, okay so I'm just gonna boot it and then change it to the other uh, team Okay, so now let's change to. Oh, what is that now? It's a download. Grab teams. Gen 2 simple. So I'm gonna copy this to sudo mm, cp, which I actually had earlier. Copy this to Gen to Simple. So should be already there. Boot grab teams ls. So Gen to Simple. Now again, I'm gonna edit the grab. And change the crab team to 
change it to simple simple mm. forgot the forward slash then again up, update it and it found the change to simple team and I'm gonna reboot it again hopefully the OBS can pick it up this time yeah, it's too noisy outside all right so this is more pleasant in the eyes earlier it's like too complicated too retro as well I believe I'm just gonna stick with this okay so that's that's a suggestion about it if you have any question feel free to let me know in the comment if you have any violent reaction to my video you are also welcome if you are new to the channel please um, hit that subscribe button for me it's gonna help me grow if you like the video please like it and if possible also if you can share the video so my channel will grow anyway that's it for today have a good day guys see you next time bye now